Are you searching for fulfillment? <laughs> Discover true happiness. Stay tuned to Shalom World. Today we're talking with Catholic musician Hannah Schaefer. Hello, I'm so happy to be here. So great to have you on the program and I'd love to hear about like your background. How did you get into music? Were you always into music? Oh, wow. Uh, I think if you ask my mother, um, she put me in front of the TV in my little, I don't know, thing that you put toddlers in, you know, <laughs> playpen. <laughs> and I would watch Barney and nice. I just sing and dance to Barney at like one. Like I was probably one and I just, and sh she's just, Always, ever since, Ben, she just was destined. And But for real, I really have always loved to sing and dance and to perform and yeah. to just always had a heart for music. That's awesome. So <laughs> yeah. when did it go from like Barney to like, you know, this is like a real thing and it's wow. going somewhere? Yeah, I, I think I had probably two kind of powerful moments where I was very shifted into um, into music. So when I was 10 years old, my mom took me to Chicago and um, we went to see Wicked, the, oh, mu the musical, musical yeah. with the original Broadway cast. So like Idina Menzel and Kristen Chenoweth and oh my gosh, it was so magical for me. I was just like, oh, so entranced by Idina Menzel's power when she sang. And I just sat there in awe thinking, whatever this is, like, I have to do this. I have I have to do this with my life, feeling just, ugh, there's just something so powerful about music and like how it can make you feel mm -hmm. and where it can take you and heal you. And um, <laughs> that show was just pinnacle for me as a kid wanting to do music. I was pretty young when I just really wanted to do music or at least yeah. the dream was instilled in my heart. Mm -hmm. So when did you start like, actually writing music and performing mm. and all mm. that? I think, well, I started writing music probably when I was 13 years old and I was a freshman in high school and I was just going through what a lot of teenagers go through. You know, you lose friends, you maybe, you know, have, but you just, you, it was just a really dark place for me. I felt very lonely mm. and um, I just, I just needed a friend. And I, and I just felt this call in my heart to, to reach out to Jesus. And so every night um, I, would just, I would just talk to him and it was almost like I could just feel him. So as a 13 year old, I started writing poetry and um, I always would take that poetry maybe to the piano and just start honestly just pouring my heart out over the keys, just play for for hours and write into wow. the night. And there was a lot of healing there. And that's when I really started transferring from poems to to songs, like just started writing songs mm -hmm. and really started, like I would consider myself like a songwriter when I was about 15. Wow. <laughs> that's a very healthy way of dealing with all of that. Like imagine if like every teenager had well, if they're when they're going through that, they're they're talking to Jesus every night mm -hmm. and just like pouring that all out, you know. The Lord only knew that the most powerful way to speak to my heart was through music. Wish you come, wish you come, wish you'd show me. 
Cause I feel, feel so defeated A little clarity is all I'm needing Oh, 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 help me trust you Oh, 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 cause I believe you know Exactly what you're doing Where my feet are moving I don't have to be afraid Cause you're holding me together Every moment, every day You're with me all the way, all the way, all the way You're with me all the way, all the way, all the way It's always interesting doing these interviews like how God uses our life experiences mm -hmm. to bring us to our calling, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Which, like, do you feel like this is, like, your calling on your life? Oh, my goodness, yes. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> oh, it's like yes. this is what you were made for? A hundred percent. Yep, yep. How, do you, I, how yeah. do you know that? How? Yeah. Like, how do you know that inside that, Ugh. like, this is, like, this is it? I mean, I know you shared yeah. the experience when you were 10, but, like, mm -hmm. especially doing it for God mm -hmm. rather than just, like, doing music mm -hmm. in general, you know? Yes. Like, how do you know that's your that's your thing. It's been quite a journey trying to figure out yeah. exactly what that looked like. And I mean, I think we're still, I'm still figuring it out <laughs> as like anybody else, you know, just taking each day as a gift. I was really digging into my music and I, I just realized I don't, I don't think, cause I actually didn't really grow up listening to Christian music, which which shocks a lot of people. <laughs> um, because when I was growing up, we'd listen to my, my dad's 80s music in the car that they listened to all the time. And so I didn't really actually start listening to radio until I was in middle school. And then okay. that's when I was introduced to pop music. And I loved pop music. It was, I mean, you know, it was, it was fun for like a girl, young girl who's just trying to fit in and like understand growing up. And so when I got older and I realized like I had to make a decision on what type of music I wanted to make, I, I thought about the two most powerful things in my life at that time. And I'm like, well, number one is, is Jesus, my relationship with Jesus. And then the second is music. So why wouldn't I just try to put them together? Why, why wouldn't that work? <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's actually exactly what, what happened is I just, decided, okay, I've never really listened to Christian music. I don't really know what that looks like, but but I, all of my songs, like when I looked back, um, you know, being like 17, 16, 17 at that time where I decided to really start pushing for that. Yeah. Um, every song that I had written, my soul was like, it, it was a Christian song. It was screaming to the Lord. And I had no, cause like, you know, the Lord knows exactly where he wants to take you. Right. And although we may not know it, and we may feel like we're in a desert <laughs> a lot of the times, like he's still there. And um, it wasn't until I was a little bit older that I realized, oh, like you, you purposefully pieced everything for me to be here mm -hmm. in this moment. And yes, Lord. <laughs> yes, 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 Lord. Lord. <laughs> Yep, that's a good phrase to have. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I, I just remember feeling very defeated and confused and because it just felt like after I graduated, like everything was kind of in this limbo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Lord, uh, everyone's at college now and I'm like, I'm, I'm doing <laughs> what you told me to do. I specifically remember hear, hearing him tell me like, you're not, you're not like, do not go. Do not go. Yeah. And <laughs> I was like, what? Lord, um, I, I just I just had my graduation party. I was telling all these people that I'm going to college. I had a scholarship to a really incredible music program that was not common. And and then the Lord said, no. <laughs> yeah, you ever feel that way? Yeah, like, that <laughs> doesn't like, make sense. Yes, Dad. yes. What? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I just had this very quiet voice. It didn't really say anything, but it was almost like a sense I knew that I was not supposed to go to school. And that was scary <laughs> because I had to walk out of the room and go tell my parents. And honestly though, they were extremely supportive in the decision. When the Lord's calling you to do something, you, you listen, you just have to listen. And so that's what I did. I ventured out into the unknown and walked upon waters I had never ever stepped in before, just trusting that, that he would he would keep me standing 
Yeah, I love your, um, I've watched videos of you live and um, I love your energy on stage. Like I've seen you, you've performed with uh, Joe Melendras. Yes. I love Joe. <laughs> yeah, I watched you two together and I was like, that's a great fit. Because you guys are both just like all over the stage uh, and just like yeah. all out, jumping around. Mm -hmm. I loved it. There was one <laughs> video where you were um, performing and the crowd was like kind of, mm -hmm. you know, like starting to bob around, around. But then you just came out and you just like went for it and you were jumping around. <laughs> and then I saw the crowd like, okay, they were like, okay, we can do this. We have know? permission to move. Right, you yes. have permission. <laughs> Especially for Catholics, like I could just see them, like, <laughs> yes. you know, I could just see like youth groups just being like, oh. is it cool? Like, is this I'm okay? like, yes, it's cool. <laughs> Jesus is cool. Let me tell you, right. early twenties, like I know where you were. Jesus is cool. imagine it that way or do you just kind of get out there and it happens mm. or like yeah I, I like what how does that happen so after I graduated high school I decided to continue to just work on my craft and like hone in and mm -hmm. um, become a better vocalist a better performer like dig into the like into the word and like get to know Jesus even deeper and like how his calling for my life fit and so I spent about two years um, just really playing out in local areas and maybe traveling like to Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, playing shows and just kind of growing and figuring out who am I? Who am I? Am I, am I a quiet person? Not really, as you're <laughs> learning. <laughs> like, so then obviously I probably shouldn't pretend that I am. Like I just wanted to um, be myself. And I think that my spirit is just very, I just want people to know that they're loved. I want people to know um, their self-worth because I didn't believe mine for the longest time. And I don't ever want <laughs> um, people to to feel that ever. And I'm like, that's that's my calling is to like help under help people understand how beautiful and their intrinsic value mm -hmm. that they have on this earth. Like every single one of us is completely beautifully and wonderfully made. I just really wanted them to know that you are loved <laughs> by God. You are so loved by God. And um, I wanted to, to reach people that way by just being as joyful and energetic on stage as possible. Mm. So you just have this great passion for them to know this and it mm -hmm. comes out that way. Oh yeah. And I, I wanted to um, ask you about uh, who, who I am. Yeah. So is that related to what you were just talking about at all? Yes, like, 100%. This is like, who, so tell me the, the background of that song. Yeah, I was actually going through this journey of self-worth and it wasn't really until I moved to Nashville, I was living on my own. So uh, Who I Am <laughs> was actually written at a time where I was a little, a little frustrated just at, at, and feeling defeated too. Just, just very emotional. Uh, I was 20, 20, 21 ish, and just understanding, like, wow, okay, you know what? Um, you know, being out on your own, because I, I did not go to college. I jumped straight into the music industry and learned as much as possible. And then when I moved to Nashville, it was like mm. so many different cultures, so many different expectations of, from people. And, um, you know, making Jesus a part of my life was a, was a choice. Like, every single day, it was. It, you just had to know, like, okay, he's first, he is first, he is first, because it's so easy to get distracted yeah. <laughs> when you have like a goal and a dream. And um, I was in the state of unknown. I, I knew I was called to do music. I knew I wanted to sing for the Lord. I was struggling with um, just understanding my worth. And that's really hard to talk about the Lord and his goodness. And, um, mm -hmm. you know, it, when, when you are not in a good place, right. it, it's hard to to be um, representing Christ in, in, in a better light, in the best light. So um, who I am, honestly, I was sitting at the kitchen counter and I was just thinking, my heart was so heavy because I was just hearing so many voices, so many voices of what 
oh, I, I think your music should be this. Oh, you're, um, I, I see you as this. Like they were just constantly, yeah. like, and some of them were complete lies as well. Um, that, and, and I just heard all these voices and I just sat down and I wrote on my piece of paper, I'm like, you do not get to tell me what my heart feels mm. because I know who I am. I know who I am now. All my life they put me in a box Telling me who I was and what I'm not I'm not your baba da, I'm not gonna get involved If you're gonna treat me like a trophy on my wall I don't wanna know who you think I am Cause I know, I know, I know, I know just who I am You don't, you don't know, you don't get to tell me What my heart feels So um, that's, that, and then I just, honestly, the song was written in in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And wow. um, sometimes I feel like they just come. Some of like, some of like the, the, my favorite songs, um, the Lord just like, just, oh, it just flows out. <laughs> it flows out and I'm like, okay, you know what? Um, I understand now. Like this is, this. so that actually, that whole time period when I started learning how to understand my worth and understand my purpose and living in Nashville on my own and doing long distance with my now husband and like so many things <laughs> that um, just honestly helped me grow mm. into, into the person that I am today. Uh, it was all because of I, like me just understanding, wow, my identity is found in Christ. Yeah. And it all, that's the foundation. Everything else mm -hmm. comes from that. Mm -hmm. So this song, it sounds like you're like hearing all these negative voices and not pulling and pulling in all these directions. And then this song came out of like your response to mm -hmm. yes. those voices. Mm -hmm. That's really mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, 100%. It was, it was um, in, it, a little sassy, but at the same time, it gave me a lot of peace. It was a freedom moment, really. And that's why I, I wanted I wanted it to be kind of an anthem, especially for people who are suffering with just feeling conflicted because of the voices. And, and mm. we don't have to have things figured out. <laughs> we just have to know the truth, which is, you know, that, that we are His. Mm -hmm. We are His. And like nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. Nothing. And another song I wanted to talk about was All The Way. Yes. So what's the story behind that song? So All The Way was actually, honestly, like the beginning, the real beginning of what started what started it all. Um, I had been making a couple trips down to Nashville with some um, really awesome writers because I wanted, you know, to do the Christian music thing and I, what, what, what better place to really start making connections than Nashville. So uh, as I was doing that, I was about ready to finish high school. So actually I was doing all of this um, while I was still in high school. Oh, wow. And I'm like, Lord, um, I think I'm supposed to call it a college, but I don't really know how this, this, this direction that I had been honestly been digging into, how that fits in with like the college education scene. Right. Yeah. I just had no idea. And um, so I was just, as I was down there in, Na in, Nash in Nashville, I was talking about all of this fear, all of this, I don't understand what's going on. I don't know where I'm going. Um, but I knew that God was with me, just like he had been every single day. Right. <laughs> and he would every day forward. And so that's, that's where All The Way came to life was when I was, unsure as to where I was going to go, but just knowing that he was there. And so um, I can just remember it so clearly. I was oh, like, where, where am I going? I wish you'd come. I wish you'd calm. I wish you'd show me. When I look, I see it clearly. There has never been a moment when you left me. Why 
Why should I doubt? You're gonna come through. You've been faithful in the sun and in the storms too. Oh, 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 help me trust you. Oh, 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 cause I believe you know exactly what you're doing. Where my feet are moving, I don't have to be afraid. Cause you're holding me together. In 2015, after I had released it, in 2014, it won um, a John Lennon songwriting contest for the gospel category. And that was huge for me because yeah. it, it put me on an international scene as a songwriter. And you're 17, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. most people don't have, aren't even aware of what their, like, their mission in life mm -hmm. or why they're here. Mm -hmm. Let alone like being called to it and then choosing it. So it's just, um, yeah, it's a totally different way to live. It, it really was. It was. It was a whole lifestyle change. It was morning I'd wake up and be a vessel. It's, uh, okay, Lord, I'm trusting. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you completely <laughs> with my life, with with where I'm headed. And but honestly, there was so much joy there, and it was it was freeing. It was so freeing just knowing that it wasn't in my hands. It was, I could do, I could put in the hours, I could put in the work, I could do everything possible to become the best version of myself, and I would. But at the end of the day, I could go to bed knowing I was obedient, no matter what. I love it. <laughs> Makes me want to go chase my dream. Do it, do it, girl, go get it. <laughs> Oh man, that's great. So what's what's in the future for you? What's like, what's coming up? Well, speaking of who I am, I have just dropped my first full length album. Uh, it's nice. all about, yeah, I love, oh, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> um, it is all centered around the theme of identity. And honestly, it's all about my journey into, from, from my teenage years into being a 20 something and what that's like to understand your self-worth and falling in love with Christ and how that relationship um, pretty much shapes the way you see yourself. Mm -hmm. I just wrote specifically for, um, for young people who are struggling with that self-image. And honestly, there's, the whole album is all about self-identity, is figuring out, okay, um, how do I feel about this? How do I get through this? <laughs> and, and just understanding self-worth. So then you get to start singing all those songs live all oh, over yeah. the place. Already started, already started. Can't help it, I'm just so excited. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And where can people find your music and find you online if they wanna just check out mm -hmm. what's going on? Anywhere, anywhere that they're listening to music. All right, well thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. <laughs> oh, thank you. This is great. Yeah, this has been such a blessing. Yeah, definitely. And keep rocking out your name because it's the best <laughs> name there is. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Beats. See you next time. To all of the viewers of Shalom TV throughout the world, I want to encourage you not only to support this amazing media apostolate, but to spread the word to others. We all know how the internet and mass media are polluting the world with the poison of pornography and so much other forms of materialism. This is the source of eternal life, the gospel, and Shalom TV is consecrated to spreading the word of Christ. Thank you.